Hi, I'm Jane Fendelman. I want to teach you this tool that I've been teaching women for a lot of years. It's called the I Love When You. So a lot of moms are very naggy. Moms and wives, they can get very naggy, especially a woman who's been frustrated for a lot of years. She can sound like that nagging fishwife fingernails on the chalkboard uh, voice and use you always and you never a lot and I hate when you um, for instance you always drop your clothes on the floor instead of putting them in the hamper or you never help me bathe the kids and put them to bed and I hate when you make me tell you five times to take out the trash am I the only one that can see that the trash is overflowing so that voice, that nagging fishwife voice. So I talk a lot to my female clients, my woman client, women clients, about the song of the sirens. So the sirens, if you've never heard of them, are cousins to the mermaids, the mermaids that live in the ocean. So sirens are co their cousins. The sirens have these beautiful voices, and when they sing, the you can read about the sirens in the uh, Iliad, Homer's Odyssey. And when the sailors are sailing by the rocks that the sirens live on, they would sing to them and the sirens would have an overwhelming compulsion to leap off the ship and try to swim to them because their voices are so beautiful. And then they would drown and there the sirens would keep them under the sea to serve them forever and all of eternity. And that's what you want, to keep your man under the sea to serve you forever and all of eternity. So it works like this. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna tell you the example that a client of mine long, 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 long time ago, who was in a women's group I had, whose husband would never mow the lawn. So on the, he was a hardworking man, he was a good man, and on the weekends he would just plop down on the couch and not be able to budge. And then she would come in and say, well, you know, it's Saturday and you said you're going to mow the lawn. And he just couldn't get himself up. So then a fight would start. So I taught her the yes after you, the song of the sirens. So if you want to know more about the yes after you, it works on your husband and your children. And it's chapter 10 in my parenting book, Raising Humane Beings, which you can find in my website store. Raising Humane Beings, my parenting book. Read chapter 10 first. That's what I always tell people. Read chapter 10 and then go back and read it from the beginning. So this is a modification on the yes after you, which is the chapter 10. So um, we helped her devise a little plan. And then she came back the next week and I said, how'd it go? And she couldn't wait to share with the group what happened. So she said, I did just what you said. It was Saturday morning. I put on my sexy nightgown that he cannot resist. I came down the stairs just as he was heading from the kitchen to the couch with a beer to wa start watching the game. And she said, I slinked up in front of him and I stopped his body with my body against his. And I whispered in his ear in the voice of the sirens. I said, you know, baby, when you're mowing the lawn and you're wearing that little white t-shirt and your muscles are sticking out and you're getting all sweaty, that really turns me on. <laughs> and she said, he mowed the lawn twice in one week. <laughs> so this works on anything. You just say, you don't have to put on your sexy nightgown. You can just say to your husband, I love when you take out the trash. That's really hot. It's really sexy when you do the laundry. When you put the kids to bed, oh, that really turns me on. Or you could even say, you know, after you put the kids to bed, I'll be ready for you. Okay, got it? I love you.